Ken Cooper, one of the best parts of these, uh, these taping sessions is I get to hear um, so many interesting aspects of so many different kinds of your work. And the MasterCard story that we're about to hear goes right to the heart of corporate strategy. Looking forward to hearing it. Thank you, David. Uh, glad to be here. Uh, the, uh, yes, indeed. The, the MasterCard work uh, is certainly a classic uh, success story of system dynamics uh, uniquely aiding uh, in the transformation of a business strategy. Uh, it's also an example of a system dynamics assignment that uh, went far beyond the, uh, the original plan. Uh, today, if you have a credit card, uh, there's a good chance that it's, uh, in the case of MasterCard, it's a Target MasterCard or a Shell MasterCard. That, that phenomenon didn't exist uh, at the time that we started working with MasterCard. The, and the modeling that we did with them uh, is, is in fact the story behind uh, what came to be known as co-branding. Uh, and we didn't know what to call it at the time, but uh, that is, uh, it, it was all originated with the, uh, the modeling that we did. Uh, it also, in, in terms of the, of the business success uh, that it generated, the, that work is directly credited with uh, a, a rapid uh, percentage point gain in market share for MasterCard of uh, in excess of five percentage points. Uh, at the start of that work, uh, we were uh, we were working with the uh, with Mastercard's head of payment processing. So she was responsible for. I mean, she had a lot of responsibility, but it was for one very specific area of uh, of business performance. But her objective was to understand better uh, what. Uh, her, her department's work uh, in that area, what the, the, the range of benefits uh, to, the, to the company's or the business's performance as a whole uh, could be. And so to, to help understand and analyze that, uh, we built a, uh, a model that encompassed the, uh, the, the full uh, comprehensive range of uh, of MasterCard activities, the behavior of car cardholders and their uh, their choices of a card, their choices of what card to employ in uh, making charges, the businesses' decisions on what cards to accept, uh, and the the model simulated the uh, the performance uh, of uh, not only MasterCard but also. Visa and American Express and Discover, which were the major competitors uh, at the time, uh, and as we as we uh, examined some of the early simulations uh, and considered things that uh, that could be done in her department to influence the performance of Mastercard, uh, it, it was a fairly uh, small leap uh, to, to make to look at how a variety of different changes, whether they were in the payment processing world or not, uh, could affect the, uh, the organization. And so after having uh, been specified, after some in, the, in MasterCard offered up some ideas of things that might help in, uh, in what had been a persistent five-year decline uh, in market share relative to Visa, uh, none of those individual ideas made uh, much of a difference in reversing that slide, uh, or even uh, simply stopping the slide. So at some point they, uh, they effectively said, okay, well, let's just go experiment with, uh, not with a preordained set of ideas, but just identify any factor that might uh, have a substantial benefit uh, in market share. Uh, and what we came back with uh, was not one, but a, a set of four factors uh, that uh, we identified uh, that could uh, have that substantial benefit. 
and the uh, what was quickly uh, identified was how well that could be achieved by partnering uh, with uh, consumer facing organizations uh, and so uh, th that was translated that was uh, decided upon implemented and translated very quickly by MasterCard into the original co-branding uh, cards, which I, I believe were GM MasterCard, the Shell MasterCard, and a few others. Uh, but the, it turned into, it, was, it became clear that, that this was very much of a win-win-win solution uh, in that the, uh, the consumer-facing organizations, well, first of all, the consumer uh, themselves would get uh, discounts or points uh, uh, that translate into discounts uh, based on their uh, continued use of the card. Uh, so it's less, less expensive per purchase to the consumer. Uh, the consumer facing organization like GM or whoever gained a bit of customer loyalty because they, uh, the, the, the use of the card with that product provided significant benefits to the card holders and so that it, it facilitated a higher level of loyalty to the that brand uh, and of course that in turn translated to or was expected to translate uh, to uh, improvement in market share and it did uh, as I said the, almost exactly the same amount and timing of market share gain as identified in the uh, simulations came to be uh, and I think one of the uh, lessons that's valuable to, to come out of this work is uh, the, the value of system dynamics in particular uh, in looking at the system as a whole uh, to sort through and evaluate a wide range of potential interventions, but in particular to be able to identify the system-wide effect of combinations of solutions uh, and I've seen this uh, this the, the value of this uh, capability so many times in uh, uh, analyses of, of projects of businesses of uh, even in the, the the biological the world of biological systems the ability to find effective combination uh, interventions that uh, where an individual uh, uh, change may not be effective as a single magic bullet uh, for a complex system. Uh, so I, I, th I think that's that, it, it, that the MasterCard example more than any other that comes to mind right now uh, showed that, uh, that uh, very powerful uh, capability. Uh, and all of this came about uh, from again from an executive champion who was willing to step out of uh, the uh, outside think outside the box uh, and then stand up to uh, getting that idea considered uh, and uh, and ultimately accepted uh, actually very quickly accepted uh, and I think we'll, we're going to make available a, a brief video as well uh, to accompany this on the, uh, the story of that of the critical board of directors meeting that at which the the co-branding decision was made. I look forward to hearing that. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.